action. Welcome to Breaking the Cycle, episode number 12. Wow. Right? We're on episode number 12, right? You're doing an intro. What are you, you asking the people, right? You're, you're supposed to be knowing. You're the host of this show. Breaking the Cycle is a live show on how to be a positive male role model oh, and lead your freak family by breaking the cycle and changing the trajectory of your family tree so that you become the type of man one day your son would want to become and the type of man oh, one day your take a breath, daughter kid. would want to marry. Take a breath, kid. Midge, what else we got? What else is the show about? These are the types of conversations you should be having with your kids so they could learn to think for themselves and are not afraid to be themselves. So when they eventually are confronted with these life situations, they are not in shock and will have an idea on how to approach it. And they will have an idea. Gotta speak up, kid. And they are not. You gotta speak up, kid. You guys want to joke to start off? Oh my off. God, no! We can't start with that. Like it's gonna go down. We just started. It's gonna go downhill. I don't care. You're gonna you're gonna cause our ratings to go in the freaking toilet bowl right off the bat. Go ahead. Oh, what, do go in the gutter. what do you got? What do you got? Why does an octopus? Why does an octopus go to war? Because he's armed. Get it? Because like. All right, that was bad. All right, she's going to be back there. You're like, oh, up oh, on oh, my ass. You should be here. Your little butt. Your butt. Where are you going? I need them. Your pens. Yeah, I need them with my pens. So this is episode number 13. What? Not 113. This is episode number 12. And we are going to be talking about the, the monthly challenge we did this month. We do a different challenge every month. Different 24-hour challenges. Last month, which was actually, these challenges were only a week apart. We did a 24-hour video game challenge. A week ago or a week from this Saturday. And then this Saturday we did the Suck Fest number two workout. And it, it was, was nice. it was running over the equipment longer, more than the equivalent of a marathon and over four thousand reps of exercises. So here's how it broke down, just so before we get going. It was you did pick two exercises, you did what are you fixing your hair? You think it's your mirror? You're gonna be doing your makeup soon? Are you gonna wear makeup when you're older and all the goop and stuff? Are you trying to make me puke? Are you going to wear high heels and skirts and stuff? You know you're not even on that camera, right? You're, not on, that. you're on those two, but not that one. No? No. Why not? It's too goopy-ish. What about the high heels? Also, What do you got to say over there? Were you got mumbling in the background? Nothing. Nothing. Just you're, Snitches like, end up in ditches, kid. You really, like, ah. Yeah? Help. She really what? She's going to mess you up live on TV? All right. So, it was two exercises, 15 reps each, so 30 reps, and then you run two-tenths of a mile, which is around the building that we were in, and you repeat okay. that for 135 freaking laps, rounds, which meant it was over 4,000 reps and over, it was 20, it was 27 27 miles, 270 sets of exercises, but we actually did more than that. We did a lecture. We'll go into that in a second. So first off, we do these challenges all the time. We already have our next upcoming challenge, our next couple challenges. We have a 24-hour boot camp class, which was supposed to be in January, but now we might have to do that in February. I don't know. We'll see. Also, 24 hours of reading. We have 24 hours of, of pull-ups, 24 hours of squat thrusts, all these different 24 hours of jiu-jitsu, all these different challenges we have coming up. And there's a purpose to those challenges, and I'm going to get into that purpose of those challenges in a second. But now you're picking your nose. Pick me a winner. What are you doing there? You good? And you're like looking at the camera like... Geez. You're right there? Got Look a little sleepy. Okay. Sit up straight, man. Sit up straight. Okay. Head up, chest out, shoulders back and down. Chin tucked, looking out through your eyelids, ready for war. I didn't say turtleneck. What the hell is that? That's not going to shit. Jesus you got more chins than You know than why a... she might have a sniffle? Because a kid in my math and social studies and science class, he got COVID. Oh, no. Today, I'm going to tell you guys a funny story. What's your funny story? Today, in class, this kid had to go home early, but then he came back um, later during the school day. And guess what he was doing? Sneezing. No. Getting the corona vaccine. No way. 
Yes. Really? A kid in my class it's... already got both of them, and that kid just got his first. How old is his name? I'm Aldi? seven. Do you know that in New York, I think starting December 15th or January, maybe December 15th, so if we go to visit New York, in New York City, not the whole state of New York, so I guess outside of New York, if we go and back to visit. No, I'm not talking or anything. It wasn't in the middle of a sentence. No, no, not at all. Here, this is just a mid-show. Do it like your mom. Yeah. Just sit in the middle. We'll go off on the edge here, and you just tell stories. It's just a mid-show. I know, but... A no, I'm in... I'm, no! Zip I'm it. still in the middle of talking! Holy shit! So... You know, in New York, I think I saw, I don't read the news, but sometimes I'll check in just to see stories. So we have some topics to talk about here that don't put your back to the camera, like kind of facing me angle, but also sort of facing the camera. You know, that's just rude. Ow. Geez, she just B-I-T-C-H slapped you. I just gave you a little tap. She B-I-T-C-H. She did like a bat. Like a double. I've done that in the project. I mean, no, I haven't. Like you know, I haven't. No snitches. Snitches end up in ditches. No, I meant it was funny. The Ghostbusters. So, yeah. in New York, I heard that kids five and up or something like that can't go into movie theaters, stadiums, restaurants, restaurants in New York City. You can't go into a restaurant in New York City if you're a kid and you're not vaccinated. Okay, that's just called abusing. That's like- going to... Fuck some of these businesses up is what it's going to do. Think about that. How many people are not going to go? And then also think about how many people are just going to give in that don't want to do do that for their, don't want their kids to like have to have that vaccine or whatever. How many people are actually going to do it just because they're being kind of forced to because they feel like their lifestyle is going to change. They can't even go, especially people who live in New York City, you can't go into, if that means like theaters, it means movie theaters, it means like Broadway shows, whatever else. Probably stadiums, I guess, too. But restaurants. All restaurants in New York City. I hope some of those restaurants in New York City are going to... Get a shotgun. Just ask <laughs> ask their people walking in if they're vaccinated. And go on the honor system. You know, 24-hour gym that I go into. I go into the gym. When I go there a couple times a week when you guys are in school and I lift and go in the sauna and then hit the bike, treadmill or bike. You don't have to wear a mask anymore in the gym. That's why I stopped going. You have to wear a mask you work out. I worked out one time with a mask in Las Vegas and I almost freaking died. Imagine, and I sweat. Imagine <laughs> you're, like, you're like waterboarding yourself. And then it gets all sweaty and spitty. And it's like all soggy on your face. Horrible. Horrible. I did it one time. Never again. So once the local gym stopped making you wear masks, I start. I got. I started going back again. Because they have a sign on the door that says, if you're vaccinated, you don't need to wear a mask. So I don't wear a mask. But you're not vaccinated. That's- Snitches and open ditches. I was just he just he already got his membership revoked after one class. Two. One day. Two, two days. days. Yeah. Two days record. That wasn't the first day. It was the second day. I made two workouts in the gym. You remember we did free weights. I was and just asking those guys for the thirty pounders. Yeah, which and then they we did. Were using. the machines once, and then you got kicked out because you're too young. You're about to run. All right, so let's talk about this okay, challenge. That's, a, that's another. Yeah, show. let's that's get back on this challenge. Okay. Snap out of it, kid. Sit up straight, man. Looking a little sleepy. Wow. You're, you're pretty not, tall. You're not midget anymore. Imagine you all grow up to be taller than Tyson. I had to look at you like this. You were this tall string That'd bean. That'd be awesome. String bean? String <laughs> <laughs> bean? You're this big, tall string bean. Pencil neck and like pee head. All right, so what did you guys think of the challenge? The the running and the workout and everything? Wait, How was it? A plus. Great. Very hard. You know how we were talking about like kids and like the coronas and everything. A girl in my class. Speak- a, a girl, girl in, my, in my class. A girl in my class actually likes to wear the mask. That child is. She mean. said it's awesome. Why is it awesome? I don't know. Actually, you know, when I was a kid, I'm thinking about it. I was a corona kid. You know, I used to wear this. You know, Zaro. You hear of Zaro? No. No. He's like an old. See if I can pull it up on the internet. Who's heard of Zaro before? I, I never knew who Zaro was. I, I mean, I knew who he was. I never saw a movie or a cartoon. Maybe I saw one comic book of him. I had this Zaro mask from like two years old to four years old that I would wear anytime I went outside the house. So what? if I was at a park, I put this mask on. It's just like this black, like criminal mask. That's a Zaro mask right there. So I'm pulling up on the internet. Oh, I've the seen Zorro that mask. before. I've seen those before. So I had this little mask like that. And I wear it all year round. If I was in the park, like, I don't know why. I didn't want to be seen. I thought that meant that I couldn't be seen. I don't know. I thought I was a ghost. So I'd wear that. So actually, I was a cool um, original 
Corona mask wear. Freaking weird shit right there. Anyway, oh, so I was a mask wearer. That's like a whole nother yeah, episode. Yeah, a whole nother episode. I don't even know where to go with that one. Yeah. Strange. Hey, Strange. You guys want to joke? Oh my God. We didn't even get into the point of the. We didn't get into anything. All you said is the, 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 the challenge, the workout was, oh, it was great. 100%. So it's a plus. Very good analysis. Very good analysis. Mitch, how many miles did you run total? Uh, 21. I think you hit like 22 because I remember you then you did those extra laps with me of those other guys. You never counted those. Oh, right. All those extra laps you did, you never counted. Remember you came a few times with me with the yeah. other guys? It was like three, right? How many, la- how many miles did you do? About 30 probably. About 30. Sit straight. This, listen, if you two got something better to do, I, I could do like the, the kids show by myself if I have to. Sit on your what ass. What are you doing? Then oh eat, your veg- eat your vegetables. So she did 22 miles. He did like oh, probably a little over 30 miles and thousands and thousands of reps. And how was it overall compared to other challenges that we did, we've done? It, it was easier than the 24-hour hike. No. Harder, harder than the 24-hour push-up. Harder than the 24-hour lifting. Harder than the... That's probably the second hardest challenge we've done. I've done. What's the, the first? push-ups got hard. We were doing sets of one push-up at the end. One push-up. At the end of the push-up challenge. Remember? The last like, couple hours, we were doing yeah, sets of one and two. I got... I got... I got, so, I got a thousand I push-ups. push-ups I, I got my... Killed our elbows. I got my last a thousandth push-up. Ten. I got my last a thousandth push-up right when the timer ended. Thousand freaking push-ups. So, some of the things about the the like, what is the purpose of doing these challenges? One of the purposes of the challenge is, listen, if you have something like, let's say you uh, had a, you're like someone going to the project. Someone's going to the project. They make this their goal to go to the project. Now they finish the project. They graduate. Fuck yeah, they did it. Or let's say you have this big, massive business deal. It's gonna make you tons of money. Make gonna make you millions of dollars. Or just whatever, tens of thousands of dollars, hundred thousand dollars on this one deal. You're working on this deal for three months, for six months. It's like your main focus, your main goal, your main priority. And then, no, no, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, there. Excuse me. What kind of lame energy is that? No. no. Uh, no Yawning. No. People have died for less in my presence. So. What does your presence mean? Means you're in. Now it means I lost my train of thought. Now I don't even know what I was saying. You were talking about. A moment of silence. A moment of silence? No. So, so, so say you're doing this business deal. You're you're doing the project. You have this big, massive goal. Let's say you're a professional athlete. The championship game, you win the championship. Or you close this big deal and you make tons of money. Or you graduate the project. Or you do something like run a marathon and you complete it. Once you're done, it's your, you hit this high. You're like, hell yeah. But guess what? A lot of times, if you're a high performer, if you're a freak like us, you what That's the last to warning. That's the last warning. That is just creepy. It's just distracting. Okay. Fine, done. Stop, you can, stop, you can meet. We'll talk Bye. to you. We'll see you later. You're not playing sports first. So, <laughs> if you have that and you complete it, you're at this high. But if you're a freak, if you're in the freak mode, like an, an, a high Woo! performer with some sick discipline and a hungry, motivated savage dominate. you finish this thing you dominate this thing and after it's done you're high for a second and then it's like you will crash and you'll be like shit okay now, now what, what? Good job. now what like what do i do now you won the super bowl you won the championship now what you've everything you did was for that time for that thing for that moment to graduate the project to close that deal you have to realize, like, you're you doing this connected. stuff. You do have to stay connected. You have to realize it's, you have to ha- be doing those things, not just to do those things. Those things are not the, the, the purpose. The purpose is the, the path, the journey, the, the training, the connections that you're doing to get to that thing. And you have to have a bigger purpose, a bigger calling be- beyond that thing. Otherwise, once you finish that thing, you're going to be, you're going to have no reason to, to have that fire in the morning where you're going to start sleeping in after you're you're the freaking champion you're going to be sleeping in getting complacent so you need to have these things on your calendar you need to take 
that spear and toss it out there a month from now, two months from now, three months from now of the next uh, thing that you're going to attack and have that thing to, to hovering over your head. I explained it today to someone like it should be like a there's a, a guillotine hanging over your head and you it's know the thing that chops people's head off in like the oh, middle ages, you know, that slice, yeah. it comes down. So you got to think every morning you wake up, there's that guillotine and you know it's hanging over your head. Like you have that stress and that little bit of anxiety and you need to learn how to weaponize your anxiety to give you that energy, that hunger, that fucking fire to drive towards that next event. So you need to always have that next event out there in the near future. We're not talking about big 10-year goals or one-year goals or even quarterly goals, like on a monthly basis. You have to have something hanging over your head that causes that stress and make you have to train and focus because it's going to give you some anxiety a little bit, a good anxiety. We're going to weaponize that anxiety, weaponize that stress to make you a freaking animal. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah, Explain. Explain it then. Explain it. You said, yeah, explain what I just said. Break it down. Break it down. down. Yeah, I'm going to call you out. This is what we do. We call someone out on their bullshit because you're sitting here screwing around and yawning and not paying attention. You said, yeah. I said, you you understand? You said, yeah. You know how, like you said, stay connected? You were not staying connected. I know, but you know how But I just gave this whole speech. I know, but you know And I said, do you understand? You said, yeah. Don't say yeah if you don't understand. said on the first part. No, I said stay connected Yeah, he said it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yesterday, my friend had a shirt that said stay connected. That wasn't a high five. That was a head slap. Yeah. One time I was teaching these, I was at these kids in this high school. And I gave this, I was speaking to them for like four hours about life and success and learning skills and personal development and discipline and making money. And I, and I was telling them about my past when I was a kid and a teenager and some trouble. The past. The past. Oh, like when I got in trouble and I was telling about how I was in trouble and how I turned things around and breaking the cycle and becoming successful and making millions of dollars and all this other stuff. Right? Millions. So so they 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 sit there and they ask as I told this story about one time that something happened with some people on the street and some whatever gang members <laughs> whatever you want to call it and I had some things in the trunk. And we were about to get in like an altercation. So I, I said, I, I told one of my friends that were there, I said, go pop the trunk. Because we had some things in the trunk that we were going to deal with this situation in this, with the things, the tools and equipment we had in the trunk. <laughs> so I tell this story and that's a part of the story. I ended up going, getting arrested and going to jail that day. Like the next you know, the day or the next morning. I don't even remember at this point. Like it blends all together. How many times have you gone to jail? We're, let's stay on focus. See, that's the whole point. This is the, I'm, you're doing the same thing. That's another episode. No, you're doing, that's the whole thing that I was saying. So I gave this whole story and then it was about, about breaking the cycle, turning things around, not letting your, your past and your childhood to define who you are, getting out of your environment, overcoming it and breaking out of your social heredity that like your, 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 maybe your parents or your family like drilled you into like breaking free from it, living life on your own terms, becoming successful, getting motivated and having some discipline, like breaking free of all that bullshit. And I give them this whole long thing and it's like a a couple hours long. It's like a whole course I'm doing for these high school kids. And I finish it and I'm done. And we go to the Q&A part. And instead of one of the kids saying, uh, how, what skills did you learn to help that helped you the most to be successful in life? Or what are some of the habits I could do now as a teenager? Some of those things are going to be too hard for me to do as a teenager. What can I do now at this? Instead of asking some questions like that, which is the point of the, the whole thing, the kid says, I'm so, any questions? Kid puts his hand in the air. I'm like, oh, wow. Motivated group here. I like it. I like it. He's like, so what was in the trunk? Dude. <laughs> that was his fucking question. Well, did you answer him? That was his question. No. I threw a chair at him. But you did? No, but I wanted to. I told him. I, should, I told him. I think I'm pretty sure I said something like that. I was like, I should throw this fucking chair at you. Just like me telling this. And you're saying, how many times have you been to the I'm telling the story about the whole thing that leads up to it. And you're being like that kid who asked about the trunk. Don't be the kid that asked about the trunk. We're sitting on Don't the Don't be the kid. Right now. Don't be the kid. I'll throw a stool. I will, I will throw a stool. I see a scissor over there. I see a pencil. Ooh. I once knew a man who killed two men with a pencil. A pencil. I know that. What's his name? John, John Wick. Wick. No, it's three men. John Wick. Three men? Yeah. You said three? three men. No, he said two. No, he said three. It was two, and then when he did it, he did two men. It was two. No, he, he said three, and then Boogie... He said something about then him. Then how come when he actually did it later in, in, in part two, he only did it. He would have, They would have had him kill three men. He had him kill two men with a pencil. He said that he already killed three men. I know, but they... No. I, <laughs> you want to bet? Let's bet. Let's bet. 
bet. Hundred bucks. You're a better? You bet money? No. You're a better? No, 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 no. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just yeah. Kidding. If anything, we'd bet some push ups or mileage or something. All right. Nice. So where's some more of the I'm running? So where were some more of the lessons you learned and and about the challenge? What are like goes through your head? What do you want to? What, what were some of the things? You, what just what, what comes to mind? Don't be looking at that my shit. What comes to mind? After the fifteenth mile, I just wanted to get it over. Like, I just had enough. After so after the 15 mile, and then you did over 30. So that's not even halfway there. So how could you possibly... And it is, after a while, that's the whole point. Like, just wears down on you. It's just repetitive. It's, I don't want to say boring, but it's repetitive. And it's like, all right, enough. When the fuck is this going to be over? So how do you get through... How many how many times did you think, all right, I'm ready, I wish this, I'm ready to be done? <laughs> after the first round? First lap? Yeah, probably. Like, screw this, I want my lasagna. Mm. Lasagna. Lasagna and cannoli. I had like ten cookies during that. Yeah, yeah. Those but... cookies were so. So like you you went through fifteen yeah, fifteen miles. Some... How did you make it through another fifteen when you were like shit? I'm ready for this to be done. How could you possibly make it that rest of that way? I ate a lot of food. So that's why you do this stuff. <laughs> no, 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 well, partly. You on? No. <laughs> I was saying your back oh. is to the camera. Anyway. So, like, I'm pretty sure, like, after my 12th lap, I went to sleep, and I would have finished. I wanted to go to 30 miles, but I probably would have finished just it was kind of like a two-hour nap, so. So, you freaks woke up at 3 a.m. to start this at 4 a.m. Then you did actually, what, like, four miles, five miles before you went to sleep? Or oh, three so miles? Yeah. Three miles? Three miles? You did three miles before you went to sleep. Almost. I think you did, I don't remember, two or maybe two or three, and then you took a nap, and then you went the rest of the way, all the way for another like eight, nine hours. Freaking awesome. Are you Are you joking right now? Right no, in the like, camera, oh! looking like, are you serious? Oh! Looking like a giraffe, you're like stretching out their jaws. Oh. So, some of the other lessons that we, we talked about and think about are not cutting corners. What happened, every time we went back to that, Sheet. Let's say, because sometimes we, we would do a lap, do our exercise, go right to the lap, and our, our marker, our board was in the back. We'd be going out the front, so we'd hit a bunch of laps in a row and then go mark them. Let's say we did five laps, but we were not sure, wait a minute, was that four or was that five? What would we do? we do four. What would we mark? Four. If we were unsure. Because then if it... How many think we messed up and actually cut ourselves short on? Ten. Five times. But you were with think, us. I don't think ten. Ten would be a lot. Like we definitely probably cut ourselves short a couple times because we did we would do like three or four and somehow you just you're in that zone and you're just going and going and it's like shit, was that three or was that four? Well, when in doubt, what should we do? Bring it down. Bring it down, of course, because then we know for sure Bring at least out, we beat shout it. Shout it out. That don't make any sense with this, but and what happened? Oh yeah, I got a joke. Why is a river? <sighs> so sorry. Why is a why is a river rich? Because it has two banks. You have silence. Crickets. All right. Oh my god. That one is so good though. No, it is. In on what planet is that good? Mars. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe not even. Pluto. So the whole point is integrity. You know what integrity means? The word integrity? We don't, probably even use, I don't know if we ever use that word. It means like being a man of your word, not bullshitting when no one else is watching what you're doing. Sometimes you went to go mark it by yourself. How do I know that you didn't just put some extra marks on there? Because I didn't, and I'd never do that. Just because you know. Credibility. And you do, and he has, he has credibility. And, all, and I know where we were. And if it was off, I'd get there and be like, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. But because that's just not how we roll. That's just not how we roll. We, we started it together. We're going to fucking finish it together. We're doing this as a team, as a group. Also, as hard as like it was hard. It was hard. Our joints were hurt at the end, like a little hobble and whatever else. But we did it and we sprinted at the end. You tried to you tried to beat beat me at the end, but it, just, it didn't happen. I'll beat everybody. It didn't happen on the sprint. But the the... Where, where were we talking about there? Oh, as hard as it was on you, do you think it was harder on other anyone else there than it was on you? Like, that were feeling it was harder for them to do and, and more pain than you? You don't think so? 
Uh, yes. You don't think anyone is having a harder time doing it than you? So people yes, that finish yes, in 14 yes. or 15 hours, of course. So as bad as you think stuff is sometimes, realize what? It's not that bad. It's not that bad. And also, what about other people? Wait. Pretty bad. Other I'm, people have things work. And not just on exercise. Fell. Not just running. Fell. Not just on running and exercise and whatever else. But in, in, in all areas, like, real, it makes you appreciate more of what you have, like, of where you are, what you have. I lost my pen. This is going to be... I lost my pen. Well, I guess you're not having a pen. Aww. So, you realize that there's other people out there worse off than you, so you need to then, as, as and we were done, then what do we do? Then we relaxed. Okay, does anybody know where my pen is? You're the worst at answering I mean, these questions. Well, no, we finished with everybody else. And then we, we relaxed? Were then when we, we were, were done. No, we didn't finish we didn't finish with everyone else. What did we do first? Who'd we go finish with? Who'd we go help first? With mommy and Mitch. Exactly. And then what'd we do? Then we finished with everybody else. Or well, most of the people. Not everyone else. By then most people were done. So we finished with the we went so back to go person. leave the people, the other people to go with them so they're not doing it by themselves and not leaving anyone, any, leaving no man behind, right? Mm -hmm. Except the last Your answer is relax. Like, after everything. After everything, then you, you, we actually came home and played video games after us. Beat and as tired as we were, we still played video games. Online. Pretty uselessly. Mm -hmm. got destroyed, but we still played video games. Yeah, we still play video games. Mm -hmm. What else? What else was some other things that you learned or lessons that you learned? To challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. But not only that, what about, so you were done. When we were done, remember you sat down? What did I come and tell you? You're in your little, your little winner circle, your little finisher circle. What did I come and tell you? We, you and I finished. Just to make people feel better? What? I don't remember. You finished. We finished. We sat down. They were still running. Other people were still running. And you were sitting down, relaxing. And what did I come over and tell you? And then what did we go do? What did I tell you was gonna about to happen? You were going to go finish with them. Yeah. So, and, and when you finished, you finished in an all out sprint. Your knees were hurting. Your legs were hurting. Your hip was hurting from like mile six you were feeling it in your hip. I think I think I'd be everybody. Like I was super fast. You know what? I don't know because you're asleep was, right now. I can't tell. I, I think you're sleepwalking right now. No, I was, I was like really fast on the last one, right? Like when you said sprint. Yeah. 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 What else? What else do, like, all of us need to know? <laughs> Just tell us. Everybody's listening. On oh, yeah, you were fast in the last one. You probably would have beat us in a race because our, our joints were all jacked up at that point. But the point of that is you thought you were done. You were like, oh, I'm done. You sit down. You take the load off. And all that pain cookie, cookie. starts sinking in. You think you're done. But, but you're and not. you thought you were out of energy. You thought you, there's no way you could possibly continue going. So what do you realize after that point? And we, what would you do? We, you did some more. So what does that tell you? When you're done, you're not really done. Exactly. And what you think isn't actually true in, until you really know. There's always more left in the tank. There's always more you can give. There's always more, more you can powder. do. There's always more gunpowder. You can always reload Bullets. the freaking weapon. You can always, and sometimes maybe you have to stop and take a breath. But then there's always more in the freaking tank. When you think you're dead empty and you think you're done and dead and going to fail and die, guess there's what? There's still a bunch more. A whole That's shitload more. You're probably not even halfway there. Like if we had to. Probably we not We could have done that whole, 1%. you think you could have done that whole fucking thing again? If we had to right then? Yeah! Hell yeah. Woohoo! right, that was a bit excessive. <laughs> Hell yeah, you can. Would it have sucked? Yeah. Would our joints have been sucked? Horrible? Yeah. Would we have been, been able to walk afterwards? Probably not. But would we have done it? Fuck yeah. You guys ready for a joke? Oh no. What you got? Uh, anyway. Knock, um, knock. Who's there? Megan. Megan who? Wait. <laughs> How long does it take to answer the door? Megan... Megan, Megan, and to these knock knock jokes, so I'm gonna knock knock you. Get it? Megan and make and Megan. Get it? Make and oh. This is just going downhill. Make an end. This is always going Megan. downhill. The other lesson. What about the other lesson? When all right, so we're done. Starting the race, starting the run, not race. The the workout. 
Would you stop yawning? That's a penalty. A $50 penalty for every yawn. $50 what? Oh, $50. $50 what? Oops. $50 <laughs> dinero. What the hell? How do you think? $50 what? I thought you... When we, when we did it, what's the longest you've ever ran before? 5.5 miles. What's the longest you've ever ran before? Like before the challenge? Yes. Three miles. Three miles with one stop. Three miles. Three miles, five and a half miles. Mine was maybe like ten miles. No, seven. No, and overall, my life, I did ten miles. And the Marines, we did ten miles. Oh. Probably 20-something years ago. We run five, three miles now, five, six, maybe max. So when I said to you, think you're going to be able to run this whole thing? What would you say? No. God. I mean, you're I did. You're the worst at I, answering I, these things. No, but then I was You didn't like, say no. You said, yeah, you could run it. You didn't know we were going to be running the whole thing. You thought, because you saw other people walking and jogging, you thought we were going to do that too. Like, that's how you thought that's how you do it. But when we were oh. going and I said, you're going to make it, you're going to be able to do all this. What would you yes, say right from yes, the beginning? Yes, 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 yes. You're like, See. you're like the ass See. backwards answer. I say, what do we do after? Oh, relax. No, we didn't. We suffered some more and did a bunch of laps. We helped them out. We helped other people. Fine. Focus, man. Focus, man. <laughs> Is that a high five <laughs> or a B I T C H slap? <laughs> all right, so. You know that you can handle it because we've done weird shit. We've done crazy shit. When we, when we, the shirt said "Suck Fest 2, What were we, what were we saying? When we were running "Suck Fest 2? That's some big what, shit. What this happened is, to "Suck Fest One"? No, oh my God, you're the worst at this stuff. You have the it's memory of a, you have the memory of a doorknob. No, we said "Suck Fest 2. No, I asked you what was "Suck." No, Fest that's one. not what we said. We said this is like "Suck Fest 317 for us. We do "Suck Fest" oh, every yeah. weekend. Wait, you, said that. you have a horrible, horrible memory. We had a whole conversation about it. I just assume that you memorize these things. If you come to these shows prepared, you know what we're going to be saying. I don't have like some chip in my brain that I. I know. Remember out, basic stuff, basic conversation that happened like a few days ago. No, that's some tough stuff. You know this, this big ass noggin. So yeah, we do we do it. So we know you know you can handle it, right? No matter what happened, you know you can make it. You know you're not going to stop. You're not going to quit. You're not going to cry like a, like a kid, and you're going to make it, right? So what? What is that? What, what do you? What about the other other people? Like you have to put other people above yourself. So when you were done, you wanted to finish. You were a little pissed when I said we're going to keep going, right? You are like a little pissed. upset. It like, it was like was heartbreaking. Like, but you know you can do it. You have to sometimes put other people in front of yourself. Help other people out along the way, along your journey. Like realize that other people need maybe your help. Not just worry about yourself. You can't just worry about yourself. When you start worrying about yourself, you will fail. You will crumble. If I just worried about myself in that run, it would be, it would be horrible. Like it would not be good. You can't just worry about yourself in these things, right? Especially on hard things. It gives you so much more energy and motivation and focus if you stop worrying about yourself and think about, oh, shit, that person might be struggling more than me. Let me go help them out. And next thing you know, you did 30 miles instead of 28. Think about that. Like, help. think about, worry about other people and not just worry about yourself. Don't just be a selfish little shit bag. What the heck? <laughs> you never said that before. Well, it just came out. We're on a roll. We're on a freaking roll. I'm hungry. Help me out. <laughs> this one's half asleep. This one's over here ready to eat. Listen, one day. One day. One day. You know what that means? It means you better not stop. One day for him. We have a new thing that just came up today. It's one day. You better not ex stop exercising not for one day. Because the amount that this kid eats and wolfs down into the garbage disposal... <laughs> He, we call him the garbage, human garbage disposal. He just will keep wolfing shit down. That's like, true. it is first gone. First finish dinner every first day. First finish dinner at, like, I'm barely uh, past my appetizer. And this dude is freaking finished and, and ready for uh, dessert. And dessert, though. I'm just saying. Well, you say you save a space in your stomach, a dessert section of your stomach. She oh, made that snitches, up. snitches, snitches, never mind. It doesn't happen. Not true. <laughs> so, the, the, the point is what? To do harder stuff. Do harder stuff. Do the harder stuff. Take up as long for the ride. Realize that other people have it worse than you. Help other people out. Put other people before yourself. Don't leave no man behind. Always do extra. Always do go above and beyond. Let me ask you this. If we were all working on something together. And there was some hard, shitty job had to get done over there. So to work to do this this mission. And Wait, over where? Over there. Right there. In the corner. Wherever. Over there. Anywhere. Not here. Over there. Doesn't matter. Doesn't Does matter. Need Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We had to go do some shitty hard work that was going to suck. It was going to take our time. It's going to be horrible. And she says, hey, how much are you going to get paid? You say, oh, that's going to take a long time. And I say, 
Where's the fucking shovel? Um, let's go do it. When it comes time for an opportunity to make some money, to start a business, to get a job, I know what you're where do you think it's going to go? Who do you think is going to get that opportunity? What am I going to say? You're probably going to say that, like, you told us this once, that whenever you give us, like, a job to, like, clean something or do anything, like, before you even finish asking us the question, we should say yes. And I'm probably going to say what? Go the extra mile. Go the extra mother flipping mile. Go above and beyond. Do more than that's asked of you. Do more than's asked of you. Do it before it's even asked of you. Yeah? You two should... Yeah, I, I, this is also... Not have to be reminded all the time to do your damn dishes and do my damn laundry and do my damn supplements. Dishes. Since when do you do the dishes? You do. You have to be reminded to do that, don't you? You don't? Uh, I do, but like... But, yeah, so I know what you're talking about. So, yeah. I mean, I'll so jo- anyway, I would Johnny also, Cochran your ass all day. What? This is also a funny story that we... Ha 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 What's your story? <laughs> What's your story? Uh, one time we were doing like this video or something. <laughs> we were doing this video or something, and we were talking about the extra mile, and we were just cry. passing by the a uh, gas station. And it's an extra mile. Yeah. That, that's <laughs> that your funny so story. Funny. That's your funny story. Ha ha ha! Fucking hysterical. Okay, that one wasn't that funny. All right. So, you got all kinds of different takeaways, UPS lessons truck. that we did. So what? There's nothing coming for you. What Ups. do you think? You, Ups. Kids see a UPS truck or a FedEx truck, they lose their shit. They think it's going to be a Ups. Lego or Come something. Come back! The other thing is take others along for the ride with you. Take people along on your journey as you're trying to attack and, and, and be successful in this world. Take people along on the ride with you. Help other people out away on your journey. Don't be a selfish little shitbag. Operate to dominate in everything you do. OTD. Hell yeah. In Operate everything. Operate to dominate. In MBB. In everything you do. In your mind, your body, your business, body everything. Business. All areas of life. And of course, make no mother flipping excuses. And don't accept any excuses. Don't just not make any. Don't accept any from the people around you. Don't let people give you their bullshit stories and, 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 and problems and whatever else. Don't do it. Don't accept it. Anything else you guys have one? I got a joke. Ah, oh, shit. Why did I ask? Why did I ask? What do you got? Why did the man put his radio in the fridge so Why? he could listen to cool music? Is that sad? Well, with ah! that... <laughs> gotcha. Well, with that joke, we're wrapping up here. We are wrapping up Breaking the, the Cycle, episode number... What? Twelve! Under 13, that was Steve says actually. Oh, well, Episode number 12. <laughs> freak shows. Anything you want to take them home with. No! Excuses! Very, very, very normal children. I can't imagine where we get it from. That's we will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. You no, are fucking no, awesome. No, no excuses. excuses.